we've arrived. We've arrived in Hong Kong. And look at that. Check that out. Look. Round behind. Now, um, half past 11 at night. Yes. Seven hours in front of the UK. But it's like, um, it's just manic. It's like Piccadilly Circus everywhere you go. It's like thousands of people, that is. Uh, I'm looking forward to this. To be quite honest, we've seen people wearing the face masks already, which you expect for the bird flu. <laughs> Been a lot of travelling. We're here, we're now um, gonna jump on a, a train into the city from the airport, actually into Hong Kong. We need to go to Kowloon, which is where our hotel is. Um, it's been an eight hour flight from Dubai to here. The flight was pretty good to be fair, we had a spare seat next to us. We were right at the back of the plane. We've jumped forward a lot of time, um, so it's now 20 past 12, 20 past midnight. So we, we're going to wait for this train to come in, jump on this and carry on with our expedition. We've now boarded the train to Kowloon. The peninsula. Looking for this street because we are going to take the Star Ferry to go central. Where is the busy streets and busy things. So we will see you soon. This ferry takes us across. We're going across to the main island, I suppose. We've made it. We're on Hong Kong Island. We're now on an open top bus. It's actually, for the moment, it's stopped raining. So we're going to have a look around um, and jump off at some relevant points, I believe. around in this very hot humid city it stopped raining we've now to just uh, stop here at um, Times Square Times Square Hong Kong Island sorry but that's just wrong talk about buying fresh fish this is still alive are we not? Well, I've been to Chinatown in London, but this is definitely an eye opener. With the ducks still got their beak on them. We're calling this place Computer City. Um, I think everything to do with computers, phones, gaming equipment, um, everything like that, even drones. Um, they've got Mavics in here. They've got so many stuff, covers the whole lot. Um, this is the place to come. I think we're on the third floor at the moment and every floor goes around in a, a cube and it's just full of shops selling um, computer equipment, electronics. Um, we're now, it's um, getting, well it's evening time, night time, we're in Soho, the mid-level escalators Soho. We've probably come up about four or five escalators that are quite long. And to be honest, it looks like we've come through the busiest area of Soho, um, like the bars and clubs and that kind of element. But looking round, I don't know if we're going to go because you look round and there's still more escalators going up at the end here. And we're coming into more bars. We've just been through a quiet zone of three escalators. We're coming into more bars. The good thing with escalators, they save you to walk on the way up. Some scaffolding in Hong Kong <coughs> is actually made of bamboo. And it's all bamboo.
we're heading to the peak. Um, Victoria Peak. Victoria Peak in uh, Hong Kong Island on the mountain. And honestly, on every level that you go up, we've probably been up maybe four or five so far from the cable car, or the tram, cable tram. But every level, there's shops, there's a Madame Tussauds, there's Hard Rock Cafe. The top of the peak is windy, and look at this weather. It's, um, just remember, if you're gonna come Hong Kong, maybe you need to come in the summer. A separate sightseeing bus. What a journey. We're now in Stanley. We've just come from one side of the island, which is like um, the weather, which you've probably seen on the camera, is awful. It's across the island, and now it's hot and it's like summer. Beautiful. Finally found the market in Stanley. Aberdeen, Hong Kong. Um, we're just coming past the restaurant and a woman comes out asking table for two and then she puts a net in this tank. Uh, you can't see the fish, there's a fish at the back, the black one over there, that she catches the partner of this, now takes it in to kill it, skin it or whatever they do and cook it. So basically you sit at this table, or a table, you order the fish that you want, whether it's a lobster, a crab, or a fish, and then they'll come out, or prawns, and then they'll come out, they'll catch the ones you want, kill it, and you can eat it. And that's your dinner. Wow. Fresh fish. And that is an eel. Rock fish. What the hell is that? It's like a giant conch. It's like um, a clam shell, and that's what's come out of it. Giant clams or oysters? Baby lobster, little lobster. Uh, angel fish, but they're not very angel anymore. The feet of the chicken. So we're leaving this fresh fish market to go to the restaurant's cooked food centre upstairs. So we finally got to order. Uh, what I've just shown you downstairs, all the live 
fish, um, you can go down there and buy what you want from the market and then bring it up here to these uh, chefs, so to speak, or little restaurants, and they cook for you whatever you bought. Definitely a place for the locals. So Desi has chosen here baby pigeon. And when I ordered this crab for Desi, which she wanted a crab and a pigeon, obviously I don't know if the pigeon was still alive, but the crab was still alive in the bowl literally 10, 15 minutes ago. So now it's on our plate and the scallops are very tasty. And there we have pork and squid. I enjoy the, the food in this um, very local place. Came to 65 pounds for two. That's pounds, not Hong Kong dollars. So I don't think it was the cheapest option for us. So to Langtau Island. We're going to see the Buddha. Let's see if he's at home. And that is where we're going. Right on up there to the Buddha. Okay, we've made it. It's been quite a queue. We're just about to get in the cable car now. But what we've done, actually, what we've done, we've um, paid a little bit extra to get crystal. Um, obviously, the, the cable cars are all glass, but we paid the extra to have the glass bottom. So I'll let you know after whether it was worth the £7 extra. <laughs> okay. But we're looking forward to it. It's a long old ride up that hill. So we'll see how we get on.
very impressive. Well, it's nice, but you get up here, after that walk in the heat, it's a nice breeze when you get to the top here. We are right at the very top now, pretty much as high as you can go. Pretty much, well, not pretty much, most definitely in touching distance. You couldn't really go about touching the Buddha. <laughs> Paul in trouble with the cow. So as you're already aware, we've been to see the Buddha today on the, up on the mountain. Now we've come back um, and we're in the main one of the main roads, Hong Kong. And over there is Chungking Mansions. And Chungking Mansions is basically um, Indian, Pakistani. Uh, food. It's like going to Bangladesh. You walk in there and all those faces over there you see on the edge, they just hound you for watches, suits, anything. And basically it's, it's cheap accommodation. Um, they're all hostels up there. But I got told to come and have a look in Chunking Mansions. And to be honest, it's not somewhere that I felt comfortable in. It's alright if you want to buy Indian food cheap, where everybody's touching it, picking it up, putting it down, picking it up, putting it down. Um, but it's not really for me, to be honest. But it's an experience, something you need to see. Um, now we're going to go to the laser show, the light show at the harbour. It starts at 8 o'clock, so that's where we're going. Okay, what we've done is come to the harbour to see the Symphony of Lights. Hi, we're at the end of the destination number three, which was Hong Kong. Um, as you've seen on the video, thanks for watching this by the way. I really liked Hong Kong, had some fantastic bits. We arrived, we stayed just off of the island in a place called Kowloon, Mong Kok uh, in Kowloon. Um, transport very easy, very good and very cheap to be honest. Even in taxis, it's good to get around. The hotel was um, very basic, 
but it was good. We only actually used it to sleep. The gym in there was awful, which I didn't show you on the video, but I should have done, to be quite honest. Um, we didn't eat in the hotel either, but we traveled around, a lot around Kowloon, where we stayed, and onto Hong Kong Island. Um, so you've seen, we went to Aberdeen, we went to Stanley, we went to Victoria Peak, Victoria Park, um, the harbour, we've done all of those, excellent. So a good place to visit was the Buddha on uh, Langtau Island, I believe, yeah, Langtau Island, that's a good visit. We didn't get to visit a couple of places, we didn't get to Ma Macau, Macau, and we didn't get to Disney, which I wasn't really interested in, to be honest. So what I would say about Hong Kong, if you get the opportunity, you should come here. There's so much to do, so much to see. For us, not enough time to see it, to be quite honest. Um, I tell you what, there's designer things everywhere. Rolex, Dior, Cartier, Chanel, um, Gucci, Armani, everywhere. Not just one big brand shop, but there's lots and lots of these shops all over the place. One thing I didn't show you, which we've shown you in Dubai, and they had one here, a cheesecake factory. Um, enjoyed the sushi here. Sushi here is double cheap to what it is in England. But again, like Dubai, if you like a drink, which I don't, I'm not a drinker, alcohol here is not cheap. Um, but look, all I would say is come to Hong Kong. I liked it. I really liked it. I know Desi liked it, so we liked it. Yeah, thanks for watching this part. Look out for the next part in Bangkok, destination number four. Um, See you very soon.